it's amazing what we can do to regenerate nature's life support systems and create edible landscape. Imagine you like walking through the Garden of Eden. That's what I envision and that's what I wish to co-create. Permaculture recreating Eden with everyone. My name's Aidan Bender and I have a real interest in what you might call permaculture, sustainable living, self-reliance, those types of things. And I've come to Hazelcombe Farm because Dan and Nikki have envisioned the same thing, they want to create the same thing, so I'd like to come and help them re-green and reforest the valley here and inspire other people that are on that path too, and that's why I love being here. I began my journey at Zaytuna Farm, the Permaculture Research Institute by Jeff Lawton. And it was a really great, liberating experience. I got to see systems orchestrated by man that were incredible, abundant and beautiful. And I could see that we can support not only ourselves, but communities that have a respect, first and foremost, with nature and with each other. First, we focus on what we term mainframe design, and we design our farms around the flow of water. So we have very beautiful catchments here that are just singing to be utilised. So we want to retain it and disperse it where we want into systems. And then from that flow of water, we design our animal systems, our food forests, annual cropping, whatever it may be. We're like painting a canvas, if you like. We're artists, so you name it, it can be anything. Well, some of the values and ethics of permaculture is care to oneself, care to others, and care to nature as well. And if we do this and return surplus or share surplus freely, we'd be living in abundance, because that's what it's about. It's not impairing or limiting and creating scarcity, which is often the financial model where we have a tendency to hoard. We could be living in a world of profusion and without scarcity, which we only can imagine, you know. No one needs to be an expert to get involved. We want people to come in, get their hands dirty and put a shovel in their hand and then we can all help each other and that can be everything from you know, carpentry to building to working with soils, working with animals. It's about this land custodianship. We want people here and involved, absolutely. And not only that, but live in harmony with nature and I'm here to support them and they support me to uh, make it happen.